Hi students, let us continue with the signed and unsigned integers. So in the previous video I explained about the unsigned integers. Now let us see what is a signed integers. So the signed integers uh, is a representation of signed int numbers. Okay, it can be represented in several possibilities. So that I explained that it can be represented in sign magnitude. Or it can be represented by using one's complement. Or it can be represented by using two's complement. Or you can go for excess n by us or it also represent by using the BCD, binary coded decimal representation. So these are the different ways that you can represent the sign numbers. So unsigned means only it follow one method because it is only the positive numbers it will take. So the unsigned range is between 0 to positive infinity. Okay, so it is the range between 0 to positive infinity. Whereas sign integers, it follows the negatives also, the negative as well as the positive. So these sign numbers can be represented by using sign and magnitude, one's complement, two's complement, excess n by us and the BCD, binary coded decimal. Now let us uh, discuss uh, one by one in the sign integers. So first I will take sign and magnitude. So what is the sign and magnitude? The name itself is saying that sign is a number that is a positive or a negative number and the rest of the numbers are the magnitude you call. Let me write that point. Left to most significant. Left, left to most significant bit represents the sign of integer and remaining bits represents magnitude. So what it means? It is saying that the left most significant bit what do you call this left most significant bit? So, the, if you take any binary number, suppose I have taken 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So, this is a 7. The 7 decimal and the binary number is the 7. So, here the leftmost, this is the leftmost significant bit. You call it as leftmost sig significant bit because this is in left side. So, the leftmost significant represents the sign bit of integer. And the remaining you call, the, the remaining bits you call it as a magnitude. So this represents this sign and this is magnitude. Okay. So that's why we call it as a sign and magnitude. The voila, leftmost bit is uh, sign and the remaining bits is magnitude. So sign and magnitude. Suppose if it is 0, the sign bit, the leftmost bit is, is 0. If it is 0, then the number is positive. So, if this is 0, the sign bit is 0, then it number is positive. Suppose it is 1. The sign bit, suppose if this is like this. Okay. So, if the leftmost significant bit is 1, then the number is negative. Then you can say that number is negative. So, this you call it as a sign and magnitude. So, the sign and magnitude will be based on the leftmost significant bit. That represents the sign of an integer and the remaining all bits are represents the magnitude. Okay. And it is the simplest for humans to understand this concept. So, whenever you have seen this binary number, if suppose the leftmost bit you have seen it is 1, you have to think that is it is a negative number. If it is 0, you have to think that it is a positive number. So, for humans understanding, make it as uh, clearly understand by the humans, we, they make it like this. And but this sign and magnitude is somewhat costly to, uh, costly to implement also. Now, let us uh, see examples, different examples. I will take two examples here for this sign magnitude also. First example 1. So, the same store. So, whenever the plus or minus is 
uh, represented before the decimal number you have to think this is a sign integer whether it is a sign positive or negative whatever it may be so whenever it, a plus or minus is indicated you represent it is nothing but a sign integer suppose simply a number is there the 7 like that 7 or 16 or 254 like there's some simply numbers are there those numbers are represented as unsigned integers that you have to be remember if anything is there between uh, before the number then it is signed integers you have to call that numbers as a signed integers so store plus 7 in an 8 bit memory location using sign and magnitude sign and magnitude representation by using this representation i want to store the number 7 plus 7 in an 8 bit memory location so any bit pattern you can follow any representation you you can follow means you means the system can follow that system can follow any representation based on that system configuration that cpu configuration based on this cpu configuration uh, it have the storage of the bits can be followed any type of representation so i'm here i'm explaining different types of uh, representations of integers so store plus 7 in an 8-bit memory location using sign and magnitude so let us see the solution for this how we'll store so the first thing is first change change the number to binary so the 7 binary number is 1 1 1 now i have to add 5 zeros not instead of 5 zeros here i'll add only 4 zeros why i add 4 zeros i'll explain that add 4 zeros to make total of n minus 1 of 7 bits so i want to make it as only 6 bits location so that is 1 2 3 4 1 1 1 so now how uh, what is the total numbers here total bits are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 only 7 are there but our memory location needs 8 bit memory location so instead of adding uh, uh, 4 zeros uh, 5 zeros i am added only 4 zeros up to n minus 1 location not n location n minus 1 location i uh, i make bit as a n minus 1 location so because I have to make the last leftmost significant bit represents the sign magnitude. So here add an extra zero. I have to add an extra zero because the number is positive. So if the number is negative minus 7, I, I add 1 here, an extra 1 here to make it as a negative. The sign leftmost significant bit, if it is 1, it is negative. If it is 0, it is positive. But here in the uh, problem, it is plus 7. So, I add an extra 0 to the leftmost significant bit because the number is negative. Then what will be the result? The result is, so I am adding extra 0 to this number. And complete this number 1 2 3 4 1 1 1 then what will be the total bits here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so now this 8 bit uh, data is stored in memory location I hope you understand so here I have taken plus 7 now I'll explain with uh, sign magnitude minus so how the data is stored if it is a negative value okay so store minus 258 in 16-bit memory location using sign and magnitude representation okay. let us see the solution so first step is the common the first step is change number to 
decimal sorry binary so this is 255 is already a decimal so you have to change this number to binary so the binary number of 258 is 1000000010 so you just convert into by taking the lcm okay like this so if you do like this you will get this binary number so now the second step is add six zeros add six zeros to make a total of n minus 1 15 bits okay so i want to make it as a 15 bit but the last or means the leftmost significant that is a 16 bit is represents the sign magnitude so i'm just adding 16 uh, six zeros to make it as total six uh, 15 bits so now add this 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here how many number how many number binary numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so total 15 bits are there but i need 16 bit memory location means uh, i have to convert that number to store in the 16 bit memory location now add extra one why am i adding extra one because here this is negative the number is negative negative means the leftmost significant bit should represent one so add extra one because the number is negative so then what will be the result the result is so you have to add 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 6. So, this is complete 16 bit numbers. So, minus 258 is converted into 16 bit numbers. Now, it is stores in memory location. So, this is about the sign magnitude of signed integers. Thank you.